Hello everybody, welcome to this verbling class. Hello everybody, welcome to this verbling class. I'm not sure if I got cut off there. Um, my name's Amy and this class is um, a class about British culture basically, or based at least on Brit British culture. Um, part of my series called Best of British Culture which kind of helps you find out a little bit more about my crazy country. Um, and um, there's a lot of stuff out there for the USA and I know that some of you um, are interested in going to the UK or will be spending time there um, so it can be maybe a little bit helpful and also a bit of fun to find out a bit more about some of the things that go on in my country um, but what we do is we use it as a starting point and also share the crazy things that go on in your countries too so today we're actually going to be looking at kind of wacky sports so wacky is a word that means weird or strange or unusual um, and um, I, as I was researching for this class I discovered that Wales, one of the countries in the UK, Wales is one of the four parts, so there's Wales, England, Scotland and Northern Ireland, um, has sort of got maybe a leader in these wacky sports. So we're actually going to read about some of the crazy sports that go on in Wales and talk about um, what happens in your countries. Do you know of any crazy sports? If you don't, don't worry because I have an article that will help us too. If you've booked a slot in the class, do come on in now. If you haven't, there's still some space, so do come along and join us. Um, it will be a mainly a speaking class today with a little bit of reading to get us started. Um, so come and practice your speaking with us as we talk about these crazy sports that go on in the UK. Um, have a look at my Facebook page if you have time. The link is in the chat box for you. It can be a good way to keep in touch with English and keep on track with your learning during the week, especially if you're a Facebook addict. Um, and many of the other teachers also have Facebook pages. So, excuse me, if you're interested in um, connecting up with us, then that's one way to do it. The other way that you can do that is to visit our Verbling teacher pages. So if you have a look at the second link in the chat box, you'll see that is my Verbling teacher page. And you can head over to that page if you want to find out more about me or any of the other teachers. Um, take a look at my upcoming classes, see if there's any that you don't want to miss, join them or book a slot. Um, or you can check out my private tutoring schedule as well. So if you would like to take private tutoring with any of the teachers, um, then go to their Verbling teacher page and do book a slot. You can see their timetable and when they're free. And if you have any questions, um, then you can ask us. So message us using the handy messaging feature. That's also in the Verbling teacher page. So I think that's all of it. We're going to say hi to our students. Um, and Mary, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, teacher. I was busy all day because I was in course. Uh, I have had a course about uh, leading uh, people through change. Oh, that sounds fascinating, Amari. Did you lead the course or did you attend the course? I attended the, the course in my job. Wow, so that was part of your working day. What did you learn? Tell me one thing that you can remember. Uh, I remember a lot of things because I really enjoyed the that course. Mm -hmm. um, how to to understand others' areas into the company. Uh, how can you give your opinion uh, uh, from other people, like a manager or leading? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it was awesome. All right, so you learned all about leadership and stuff. Does that, does that apply to your job, Amari? Do you have to, to lead people in your job? Yes, I have uh, no, 1,200 people in Brazil uh, who I needed to give uh, my opinions, uh, to explain uh, different things uh, about the software, uh, logistics or something like that. Mm -hmm. Wow, well that sounds like a really great day. Yes. <laughs> awesome, I'm glad to hear that. Um, Thank you. All right, let's see if anyone else did anything really exciting today. I'm going to ask Javier, and also say hi to Javier, because I don't think I've met you before. Hello? Hello? 
Javier, are you there? Hi. Ah, yeah. yay! Yeah, can, can you hear me? Okay, uh, my my microphone is bad. Okay, yeah. No problem. I'm here. I'm here. Good. Excellent. Um, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Where are you from, Javier? Ah, uh, Peru. You're from Peru. Peru. Cool. Yeah, Lima. And which part of Peru? This the Lima? Uh, Lima, or Lima. Okay. No, Lima, Lima. Awesome. And tell Lima, me yeah. why why are you studying English? Um, because I study I study science, and it's more important. <laughs> it's more important to do the study because the and the best test of science is in English. Are yeah, in yeah. English. Yeah. All right. I understand. Oh well. Congratulations, Javier. That's a cool thing to do. Well. Um, Tell me about your day. Amari has attended a very interesting course. What did you do today? What I... Did you work or did you go to university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to university. All right. Yeah. And I am in the, in the, in the second year of, cool. uh, of physics. Physics. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds totally scary to me, honestly. I, I cannot understand physics, so yeah. congratulations on being so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, welcome to the class, Javier. Thank you. Who else do we have here? Uh, Yuki, welcome back. Hi. <laughs> How How's are everything? you? Uh, to grumble. Thank you. <laughs> Why mustn't you grumble? Everything. Good, thank you, Yuki. I'm, I'm, my question of the day is, is what did you do today? Did you have anything exciting happen in your day? Oh, nothing special. Uh, today, and uh, today, today was off for me, so there is no work. I, I didn't do nothing. I, yeah. I did nothing today. <laughs> so you had a holiday. Yes. Oh. That sounds great. Excellent. Yes, yes, I'm glad um, to hear that, Yuki. <laughs> yes, it sounds awesome. Yes. All right. Welcome to the class. And Felipe, how are you? Hi, Amy. I'm fine. And you? Good, thanks. What did you do today, Felipe? Oh, today I was at the university yeah, in the morning. And after I was in the class. Yeah, because this year I I started to learn French too. <laughs> wow, you're going for yeah. all of the languages. Yeah, yeah, I need to <laughs> to learn a lot of languages. Yeah. <laughs> for for okay. my for my degree, it's all necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, good luck with that, Felipe. I'm very impressed. Okay. More Thank than you. one language at a time is extremely impressive. Almost as impressive as physics. <laughs> <I'm really kidding. laughs> All right. Um, welcome, everybody. Okay, so today's class is going to be a bit of fun. We're actually going to be discussing wacky sports. And when I say wacky sports, what I mean is uh, unusual, strange, weird, crazy, you may say. Um, so I've got several different pages that we're going to use to discuss these crazy things that go on. Um, I'm using my own wacky country as the basis for the class because I found a really interesting website, which I'm going to give you now. Check it out. It's called Green Events. And it's basically um, uh, Wales, which is one of the countries in the UK, decided to get some unusual sports going to try and increase tourism. And they've kind of become quite popular and quite famous. So we're going to have a look at a few of those. Then we are going to... Um, just look around the rest of the country for some other wacky sports. And then we're going to talk about your countries. Um, if you don't know any wacky sports, that's okay, because I've got, <laughs> got another helping article. So, first things first, take a look at that page. Um, I'm going to do a screen share, because it's easier if we all read along together. We're just going to have a quick look at this one. Um, and then we're going to... If I can do the screen share... Then we're going to read a bit more in depth. So if you have a look at this website, um, you can see there's some people riding bicycles in the snow. There's a lady 
possibly a man, hard to say, under the water. All of these pictures are of some of the crazy events that go on. And the typing is really small, so I'm just going to zoom in. And I'll ask Amari, since you were here first, would you like to read for us, please? Of course. Welcome to Green Events. And uh, sorry, teacher, I, I am hearing my voice in echo. Oh, that's like that. annoying, isn't it? Okay, and maybe, uh, Javier, I'm just going to mute your microphone, just in case it's a problem. Thank you. Is that any better? And, uh, yes. And uh, welcome to our World of Week. Weird and wonderful outdoor activities that have been developed over the last 30 years in and around, uh, I don't know, that world well. Uh, the small, smallest town in Britain nestling in the heart of Midway. So, brace yourself for boggy snorkeling. How about the challenge of man versus horse? Enjoy a social weekend at the Rio Ali Ubo or Rainbow, uh, Sovor the. Oh my gosh. And the <laughs> scent. <laughs> Sorry. Keep going, Mary. Don't worry about those ancient, Okay. Ancient Welsh tradition of the Mary. I don't know. Or enjoy the delights of the Roma Festival of Sa. Saturnalia, Saturnalia, and test out our mountain bike chariots during the Winter Warm Beer Festival. For information on this and the other of the wall events, please delve further into the site. By the way, we are always looking for sp sp sponsors who want to gain some great publicity Publicit opportunities for themselves throw something a little out of the ordinary. Uh, world weather. Uh, you are interested in being a main event su su sponsor, sponsor, or are keen to offer smaller sponsorship. Uh, e uh, e dot j I don't know prizes. Mm -hmm. E.g. Uh, prizes, water bottles, bottles, uh, t-shirts, uh, snorkels, uh, swim caps, horse blankets, running shoes. The list goes on. In return for our promotion of your business, please contact us. Uh, we are a small, friendly, and slightly wakey organi organization with S, I don't know, organization? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yes. Okay, and they are always keen to listen to interesting ideas. And Mary, congratulations. Well done. Oh, thank you, teacher. <laughs> All right, you... so... Okay. No, no, that was great reading. I know that you had some really challenging words in there. Um, we're going to talk about them in a moment. Um, just a, a mention about this word here. You notice it's spelt with an S. That's because this is a British website, so... There are, there are quite a few words that we use an S with that the USA uses a Z with. That's why. It's the same word, though, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. All right, so let's talk about the words. I'm not going to worry about the Welsh words. Um, my father actually lives in Wales, and he's pretty good at pronouncing Welsh names right now. He's lived there for about five years, but I'm still terrible at it, so I'm just going to ignore them. I have no idea. That would be like Lanartid or something. <laughs> but we won't okay. worry about the Welsh words. We'll just worry about the English words, okay? So, this one here is ancient. Ancient. Yep. And this one is chariots. Chariots. Perfect. And this is what we use when we mean, for example, Amari. E.g. Yeah. But when we're reading out, you can just say e.g. or you can say for example. Ah, okay, for example. Okay. Yeah, all right. Apart from that, it was perfect, so well done. Um, all right, so we've read this introduction. Can somebody tell me um, who would like to offer an explanation of this green events? Um, what is it? 
Uh, it, uh, it, we had, uh, we had out, of the, out of activity that have been developed over the last 30 years in the, in the local area of Wales. It's a quite a uh, weird event. Uh, maybe uh, villagers uh, uh, anticipate, uh, no, uh, uh, participate, participants uh, of the event uh, have, um, have uh, tried to uh, try to run, uh, but against the horses. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> horses. Uh, yes, uh, horses. Uh, uh, yes, and you and uh, and uh, no, not to run. Uh, they they are riding uh, on on the mountain bikes uh, with ch on the chariots. Yeah, no. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, you've done great. So basically, um, Yuki's absolutely right. This is a charity, right? And the purpose of it is, one, to increase tourism, two, to raise money. So they do all these kind of um, strange sports that you would think, you know, are, are slightly crazy, and you'll probably be right. Um, so let's talk about this just for a moment, the concept. Firstly, um, I just want to say hi to Edwin because he's joined us while we've been reading. Hi, Edwin. Are you there? Who, teacher? Edwin. Edwin has joined us while we've been reading, and I'm not sure if he can hear me or not. Perhaps not. All right, Edwin, don't just say hi when you're free. Um, Amari, I'm going to ask you then. Are you a sporty person? Do you like sports? Yes, teacher, of course. What sports do you like, or what do you play? Soccer. I like his soccer. I like to uh, watch it um, in a TV. And uh, um, one or two times uh, a week, I practice soccer, play soccer with my All friends right. in my job. So you have. You're part of a soccer team? Yes. Okay, excellent. Let's see if Felipe, are you sporty, Felipe? Yes, teacher. Can, sorry, can I? Can you repeat the, the question, please? Sure. Do you enjoy playing sports? Um, sometimes I practice skating, but uh, right now I don't have any time, yeah? Yeah. Uh, when uh, when I have time, uh, sometimes I I skate with my friends, mm -hmm. or probably uh, we play the football. But yeah. so uh, cool. only when you have time. You're not really um, yeah. you're not part of a specific team or anything like a Maori. No, no, no. Okay, and let's ask um, Javier. Javier, are you sporty? Do you play a sport? And yeah, I only I only practice a bicycle, only bicycle, uh, cycling. all days. Cycling, cycling, yeah, cycling, cycling, yeah. And um, what, where do you cycle? Oh, yeah. Uh, you repeat? Yes. Where? Where do you cycle? In your city, in Lima, or do you go to the country? The mountains, or the I don't know. Ah, uh, um, generally in Lima, but uh, but yeah, I was uh, I was practice in in other um, province or other other part of Peru. In, All right. In, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. in the in the jungle, the jungle. Awesome. That sounds yeah. very cool. Have you ever done any competitions, Javier? No, in competitions, no. I only do um, the cycling tourism. Uh, the, I am uh, uh, a tourist in cycling. So I, you, you mean? I don't know. 
I don't know how how say it in English, but it's a um, a, a kind of a kind of tourism uh, uh, tourism. Yeah. Uh, in in yeah that c cycling tourism yeah. <laughs> so right. it's not so it's not an sport. It's not an sport, but I I feel that I do a I do exercise or I don't uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm, and there's, I suppose it's difficult to, to. I'm not exactly sure when, we, especially in a lesson like today, how do you classify whether something is a sport or not? Quite honestly, I suppose it's to, it's maybe to do with the competition side of it. But um, I'm sure that you have to say that cycling is a sport, even if you do cycling tourism, which sounds very cool. So when you say cycling tourism, Javier, do you mean that when you go on holiday or to trips to places that you take your bike with you? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Do you, need me, do you need me to repeat the question? Uh, repeat the question? Yeah. Do you, so do you take your bicycle with you when you go on holiday? On vacation? Okay, I need to, to meet an auricular because I don't understand. So what I mean, Javier, is when you go on holiday, because you say that you do cycling tourism, right? So tourism means visiting other places, other countries or other cities maybe. Do you cycle while you're in the new places? Do you take your bike along with you on holiday? Okay. You know mm -hmm. Oh no, he's disappeared. Javier, I can't hear you anymore. I think your connection's disappeared. Okay, we will wait with anticipation to hear what happens to Javier on his holiday and hopefully he's going to come back to us and tell us. Let's talk to... I'm just going to see if Edwin's there. Edwin? Hi, teacher. Yay! Hello! Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you too. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Edwin. Have I met you before, Edwin? Um... Excuse me? Have we? Is this your first class with me? Yeah, he's the first. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Colombia. Okay. So tell me about you and sport. Are you sporty? Yeah, but I usually in the weekend I usually swimming. Okay, you swim, right? Yeah. And <laughs> when I have time, I have a dog. Yep. Um, I run with. Okay, so you go running and you swim. Yeah. Have you ever participated in a competition, Javier? Uh. Sorry, I meant to, I meant to say Edwin there because I got confused. Apologies for that, Edwin. <laughs> Don't <Bye>. worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were probably wondering what on earth I was going on about. I wanted to ask you, Edwin, have you ever participated in a competition? No. No, no, no. It's only for a hobby. Okay. All right. Yuki, your turn. Yes. Tell me, uh, are you sporty? <laughs> uh, I think I'm not a sporty. Um, I... I, I I suppose I have uh, no re reflexes, uh, my f but my father is a sportsman. He wanted he wanted to me to uh, play a tennis and become a tennis player, but I but I I couldn't uh, reply his expectation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And uh, I, I, I prefer to read a book and, uh, than play outside. So, <laughs> so I'm sorry, my father. Oh, I'm sure your father doesn't mind, Yuki. <laughs> yes. 
All right. Well, Yuki's not particularly sporty, so I'm not going to ask him if he's participated in any competitions because I think he'd say no, right, Yuki? Yes. Oh. <laughs> All right. I can. I don't want to challenge uh, challenge a versus horse. Yeah, absolutely. So you're not going to attempt to go into this competition. I'm going to change pages, guys. Um, we've read about green events, and this is the website where the beginning of these sports came about. I'm going to switch to, you can see this is a BBC News website, which is handy for practicing your English. This is mid-Wales, right? So this is one section of the UK you can see up here. Um, this is actually this the exact same town that we were reading about that none of us can pronounce. So we're just going to highlight it on the screen. And um, feel free to watch that video later if you can, although sometimes um, it stops you watching it if you're not in the UK. So we'll ignore that. Um, OK, we can see the caption on this video. I'm going to ask Edwin. Edwin, can you read the caption? What does this say? Fans? Fans of Battle Lord running say in a burn more calories than running for war. <laughs> so this race uh, is a race of running backwards, right? <laughs> so you can run, <laughs> but you have to run the wrong way. Um, one of the competitions <laughs> um, that's, that's a part of the Olympics, <laughs> right? <laughs> Um, as you can see, it's this alternative Olympic Games. Um, this, I think, took place yeah, in 2012, which is when London hosted the Olympics. Um, all right, we're going to read a little bit more. Edwin, could you, I'll zoom in, could you read from a town, please? A town famed for its particular sport is staying in an alternative to the Olympics with underwater hockey with carrying and grab, gravity or gravity. Rubber? Gravy. Gravy. Rattling among the events. Oh? Keep going, yeah. Yes, okay. please. The World Alternative Games uh, to, uh, 2020, uh, 2012 <laughs> see people competing for gold, silver, and bronze in. Beep. Learn. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Don't worry about it. This one's pronounced Powis, because this is exactly Powis. where my dad lives, actually, so I know that one. Keep going. Okay. The town is better now for hosting the World Buck Snor Snorkeling yep. cham uh, Championship and Mare versus Horse Race. The organizers joke that the Olympics, with its running, jumps, cycling, and swimming, was ready mundan. Mundan? Mundane. Mundane. All right. The alternative games starting on Friday and um, last for the fourth fortnight. Mm -hmm. The same word. Yeah. <laughs> the same word. Uh, <laughs> <Pip. Yep. laughs> Wells have been standing in unusual sporting events since 1980 in a bit to boot tourism. Um, the idea for its own version of the Olympics with a rate of unrecognized sports came after London was named the host city of the official games. Organizers claim the competition in the 35 events will be just as delicate as the Olympic and Paralympic counterpart. And just the same Olympics, there will be an opening ceremony. <laughs> Thank you, Edwin. Okay, we'll pause there just for a moment. Does anyone have any questions about vocabulary? Yeah, yes, teacher. What is the meaning fortnight? Ah, very good. What's a fortnight, guys? <laughs> fortnight, two. No, uh, I think two weeks. Absolutely. It's a, the same okay. as saying two weeks. Good question. Any other questions? Most. Sorry? Most? I, I, I don't know. Most. Can you tell mm -hmm. me what, what's the sentence? Uh, Need, need to go stories. 
Ah, here we go. This one here. Yeah. Boost. To boost. boost. Yeah. Which is slightly different from to boast. Can anyone explain what boost means? Increase. Yep. Uh -huh. Thank you, Yuki. It means to increase. So increase tourism, basically. Well, activate. Okay. Yeah, okay, so activate is more to do with starting, maybe, but yeah, it could be a synonym, depending on the context. Um, any other questions? No? All right, I'm just wondering if, is it Felipe, have you got some people having an argument in the background in your house? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's the TV. I can hear lots oh, of loud. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, it, it, it's my mo my mother. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, Felipe. It's you that it's a TV show. Yeah, it, no, it's Felipe's mother. It's Felipe's mother. Thank you for for that, Felipe. I'm sure your mother's having a great conversation. Um. All right. So, um, who would like to? I'm gonna ask. Who am I gonna ask? Um, Javier, are you able to talk to me? Yeah. Woohoo! Okay, you disappeared for a short while. I wasn't sure. Can you explain in a, in your own words what did we talk about? What did Edwin read? Can you tell me what this is about? And with my words. Yeah, in your own words. So just briefly, can you explain what are we? What did we just read about? Um. What's the topic? Okay. Yeah. Okay. What is the peculiar sport? Uh, <laughs> uh, horsing. Yeah. Yeah. It's man okay. versus horse. <laughs> ah, man versus horse. Uh, Okay, um, running and jumping and cycling, cycling, s cycling with horse. Okay, uh, swimming with horse. Ah, uh, well, well, well. But, uh, yeah, mm, yeah. I think that it's impossible to compete with horse in cycling and swimming. <laughs> yeah, it's impossible. What? <laughs> All right, thanks, Javier. So what I really wanted you to do is just to tell me, like, roughly, um, what did we read? What did this article tell us? What does it say? Ah, uh, mm, uh, uh, the world alternative games for world seven abroad in general. Uh, well, it's saying that in when uh, well, I think in in, in United Kingdom uh, there are a, a, a competition, uh, uh, different kinds of competitions, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it's not it's not an it's not an an Olympic, uh, an Olympic world is is a competition. Uh, it's a little competition in, in. No, in, I don't know. Uh, yeah, uh, right. <laughs> in in I don't know. Um, it says hockey. Uh, yep. Yeah, it says it's hockey and carry with me. and ah, my favorite members of horse and running and jumping, cycling, and swimming. It's <laughs> no, I am okay. It's all. all right, Javier. You've done great. So basically, you're right. What it's describing is the fact that um, this town that none of us can say, Beep Wells, um, is hosting its own Olympics, and um, it has very strange sports. We're going to read about what they are in a moment. But it does say that it. <laughs> Do we know what this word mundane means? This is a good word. Does anyone know what that means? Mundane is uh, not a holiday, uh, very, 
、ダルだって、<笑>ウィークデー、ああ、ウィークノットウィークデー、ダル、エブリデー、ライフ。Yeah, yeah, it's like dull. <笑> it means dull. dull. Something really ordinary and dull. Yeah, exactly, Yuki. So nothing special, basically.、Yes. Um, all right, we're going to be reading a bit more. Javier, I'm going to get you to read、um, from here, please. One of the people. Uh, to read. Yes,、okay. please. One of the people be behind the games in Gordon Green. Who say the emph emphasis will be on taking part rather than winning?、Uh, he said, We've been staying an, a number of events since 1980, but we wanted、uh, an alternative to the Olympics to show that. People who take part in unusual sports are as committed as their Olympic counterparts. They might, not, uh, they might not train as hard, but they have easily as much fun. Great. Thank you, Javier. Just pause there. We're just going to read a bit at a time. Well done. This word here is committed. Committed. Yes. I don't know.、Uh, What does、yeah. committed mean if you are committed to something? Are you going to say something?、Mm, it's the group of p e r s o n the ofi official group, no?、Uh, official group? The, are you answering the question about committed, being committed? I think here committed means involved in. Yeah,、no? okay, yeah. involved in almost. If you are committed to something, it means that you are dedicated、connected. to it, right?、Mm -hmm. That you don't give up, that you keep going even if it's difficult.、Um, so, what they're really saying is that the people who do these crazy sports like bog snorkeling, you can see this person here is snorkeling in a bog.、Um, They, are, they spend as much time on their sports as Olympic、um, sports people do, which is kind of hard to believe.、Um, he says they don't maybe train as hard, but they do have as much fun. And、um, we're going to read about some of the actual sports. I'm going to get Yuki to take over and tell us about gravy wrestling. Okay. Gravy wrestling originated in Lancashire. l a n c a s h i r e Grave wrestling ori originated in Lancashire and, and Russian egg roulette features four eggs, one, one of them hard boiled, lined up in front of, of the competitors and they smashed them against their head. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Fun game with it.、Uh, the winner is whoever finds the, the hard board one. <laughs> That's a ridiculous game with it.、Uh, yes. wife, wife carrying involves、hmm? wife, wife carrying, invo wife carrying involves the half mile course across the river and fields, but competitors do not have to. Be married and can be the same sex. The winner received, received the weight of the person they carry in beer. <laughs> Thank you, Yuki. We'll pause there, okay, just so that everybody understands these sports. So, gravy wrestling. Do you guys know what gravy is? This is something really British. Gravy. I think it's.、Uh, gravy, gravy. No. It's、I、like a, a. Basically, it's a sauce that we put with meat. It's、ah. dark brown. It's used to do、yeah. with cooking? Yeah, it's to do with cooking. So、okay. it's, like, um, it's like a sauce, basically, but it's a meat sauce. We have it when we have roast, roast chicken or roast beef or something. And I assume that gravy wrestling means that you have to wrestle、um, covered in gravy, <laughs> which would make it a lot tougher.、Um, who would like to tell me what is Russian egg roulette? How do you play that? What is it? 
uh, <laughs> uh, 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 in this game, uh, you, uh, 4x was 4x is used. 4x are used. Uh, one of them uh, hard boiled. Uh, yep. Competitor uh, smash them against the head and decide what to what 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 one is most to hard yeah. hardest the hardest yeah <laughs> <laughs> so the winner basically <laughs> is the one who finds the hard boiled egg and everybody else gets splattered with egg right sounds fun doesn't it um okay what about wife carrying who knows can explain what wife carrying is Nobody. relatively self explanatory this but anyone want to just describe it no <laughs> i think <laughs> it's just uh, you have to uh, competitors uh, have have to carry uh, what their wife no yes but it doesn't actually have to be their wife it's called wife carrying but it ah. says that you can actually carry anybody, right? You don't have to be married, and you, it could be a male or a female. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so competitor ca carry some somebody uh, mm, half miles course across the river and the field. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, winner receive two uh, passes. Ah, ah, the receiver can, can drink a beer uh, as as as, ma, as much weight as uh, 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 the person Absolutely. They, they carried. Yep, well done, Yuki. Well done. Okay, Felipe, your turn to read about the next sport from one of. One of the more unusual sports is three-inch stiletto racing, which will see both men and women, women competing over 60 yards. The town's an annual World Box Snorkeling Championship at the end of the month will also form part of the alternative games. The international underwater Hockey championships come under the umbrella of the games and will be staged in Newport. Meanwhile, a number of, of events for children are planned on Monday with Sasha, who sticks and rock paper scissors instead of a game's playing. Beep. Town <laughs> <laughs> Fontaine will flow, flow for the duration, signifying signify its past as a famous spa town. Unlike the four yearly Olymp Olympics, which take place every four years, the World Alternative Games are said to be genial. genial. Mr. Mm. Green said the games had re received a uh, Mm, fifty thousand yep. uh, pounds grant from the Welsh government. Well done, Felipe. Well done. Beautiful reading. This one here is signifying. Signifying. Yes. Okay. Does anyone want to ask any questions about vocabulary? No, we're all sorted. Okay, we're going to talk about the other strange sports first of all, guys. Firstly, is we have stiletto racing. What is stiletto racing? What are stilettos, basically? Stiletto is sh shoes. What kind uh, of shoes? Woman, woman's shoes. It uh, has high uh, shoes with high. High heel. Yes. No? yes, but very specific, Yuki. So a stiletto is a very high and very pointed heel, so not chunky. Uh, so very chunky. difficult to walk in, right? <laughs> yes. 
Um, and racing in those, I think, would be tricky. And also, you can participate if you're a man. So maybe, you know, if Javier decides to have a break from cycling, he could try stiletto racing. What do you think, Javier? <laughs> <laughs> uh, about, about what? <laughs> he sounds unsure. Um, racing, doing a race in high-heeled shoes. Do you know what we're talking about? Uh, it's not for stiletto racing? Yes, stiletto racing, but I was just joking with you, Javier, saying that maybe you would like to do some stiletto racing. <laughs> he doesn't look convinced. Don't worry, Javier. <laughs> All right. Um, I what think about... we did uh, just a race uh, where, where uh, men and women, uh, we are, um, we are. Yes. We are. We are uh, shoot with the high heel uh, and just to uh, race. Yeah. <laughs> just to run. Yeah. Exactly. You just have to run. But that's harder than it sounds, I think, Yuki. Have you ever worn high heels? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I just want to talk about the children events. Do you guys know what this game, Rock, Paper, Scissors, is? Uh, I know. I, uh, uh, there is a same a same uh, game in Japan. Okay. So. I think it, uh, this is a global one. Yeah, yeah. Duncan yes. Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know very much. <laughs> Do you guys know what poo sticks is? Poo sticks. Poo sticks. You've probably never heard of this. It's a, a game that we play when we're children in England. You guys must have heard, I, I'm sure, of Winnie the Pooh, right? The story about the yes. bear. Um, he's a he's a bear. I'm gonna get okay. you. Okay. You guys know, I'm sure. Um, and basically, it's a game that he plays in the book. What you have to do um, is you have to pick up a stick. Whoever's playing, this is Winnie the Pooh, right? Um, yeah. And you have to. You need a bridge and a river. So what you do is you drop your stick. Everybody drops their stick over the side of the bridge. It lands in the water, and then you have to run to the other side of the bridge and see whose stick comes out first, and that is the winner. So it's rather fun, actually, and sometimes the sticks get lost or caught in bushes. Um, so it's quite a fun game, but, yeah, we're learning all sorts of crazy things. What we're going to do, guys, is get rid of this, because this is all about... Uh, I think we've had our, our fill of crazy UK sports. Um, are there any crazy sports that you've done or are done in your countries? Yuki, have you ever heard about crazy sports from Russia or from Japan? Uh, uh, crazy sports. Crazy sports. Uh, uh, we have... Uh, 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 no, you know, uh, in Japan, every uh, autumn... Autumn is uh, uh, um, regarded as a sport season. Uh, there oh. is a sport event in every school. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there, there, there is a, a lot of uh, competition uh, taking place in the, in the sport event. One of them is very curious. Uh, it is uh, mm, uh, it's a it's a it's a race. Uh, children uh, staying in the line and uh, and they they start to run uh, into to uh, to the goal. In the goal, uh, uh, a bread with uh, uh, sweet, sweet, uh, mm, sweet, uh, uh, mm, the bread uh, uh, inside, uh, sweet, uh, sweet beans uh, is hanging with a rope, and the children have to have to bite it. And uh, get to it, 
and uh, bring it to the goal with with their uh, mouse. So okay. <laughs> it's a very difficult to uh, explain. So. <laughs> but it's a it, traditional yeah. game in Japan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's very funny. Um, okay, it's funny talking about this because there are so many crazy games. Um, Felipe, are there any. What I forgot where you're from. I'm so sorry. Which country are you in? No? He's disappeared. No, no, I hear it. <laughs> Where uh, are you? I am from, I, I'm from Spain. Okay, Spain. Oh, how could I forget that? Do you have any crazy sports that you do in Spain? Really weird, wacky ones? Crazy sports? Well, I think in Spain there are a lot of crazy sports. For example, <laughs> okay. bullfighting or... Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, or oh, every sport uh, with bulls, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, because I seen uh, a lot of people uh, risk their their life. Yeah. Risk. Mm -hmm. Risk risk their life. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To to play with a uh, poor bulls. Yeah. Yeah, you you guys are, you love bulls in Spain, right? You've got bullfighting, running with the bulls. Yeah, yeah I I, I don't like I don't like it. No. I must admit, um, I'm not a big fan either, Felipe. Um, but still, they can definitely be considered crazy. Um, okay, Javier, what about you? What crazy sports does Peru have? Um, uh, I don't know. You guys uh, are crazy, all crazy sports. Um, I think that, um, for example, in in the, in the water course in the in the river, yep. uh, the river to uh, that that is going to to Brazil in Peru um, are very fast. Mm -hmm. So uh, so the people uh, do uh, um, rafting. I don't know how to say yeah rafting it, it, rafting. Um, and yeah, it, yeah, I think, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's a boat uh, that you you have a, um, yeah, 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 you, uh, uh, it's a flat boat, right? A flat boat. You up to the to the boat? Yeah, you want. Um, Oh, Javier, I can't hear you anymore. Okay, now. Ah, uh, there we go. Yep. Yeah, and there are other. It's um a skydiving without uh, without a parachute. Yeah. <laughs> what happens at yeah. the end? You die. <laughs> Isn't that called yeah. suicide? <laughs> but but the humans don't. Uh, but it's not for humans. It's for cats. <laughs> yeah, the cats the cats love do it. <laughs> Because, skydiving. Be, because they don't have a parachute, so they they do a skydiving without a parachute. And I don't. That's crazy, <laughs> Javier. <laughs> <laughs> but I've only got myself to blame for making this class. Um, okay, we've got five minutes, guys. All we're going to do is just take a look at one last website, which is really funny because it just has pictures. Have a look at that link there. Um, and you can see some other ridiculous sports, but um, they just go on and on, really. So if you're interested in this topic, research it on the net, and you'll be able to find lots of information. Here we go. We're going to just have a look at a few of them. Um, you can see the photos there. Um, this one, I'll get um, Felipe. Could you read the caption? Can you see what we've got there at the bottom? I'll zoom in for you. On bank holiday... Monday. Okay. On bank holiday, Monday, May 20, 
contestant will gather on the top of Cooper's Hill in Bro Brocor Gloucestershire. <laughs> I don't know the <laughs> correct pronunciation. Don't for worry. the annual Okay, for the annual cheesy rolling competition. They will be watched by thousands of spectators as the as they tumble down the two hundred meter slope which has one mm, one <laughs> gradient in parts in hot pursu pursuit of a double Gloucester cheese. The winner gets to keep it in yours, including broken bones are common. <laughs> Thank you, Felipe. So, did you guys understand what this sport is? Yeah. Yes. Basically, you chase a cheese <laughs> down a hill. Rolling, rolling cheese. Absolutely, a very fast rolling cheese. I would <laughs> say that if you didn't think that British people were mad before this class, you now do think they're mad. Let's have a look at just the next one. Um, this is for... Um, have a look at this picture here. And Yuki, can you read this elsewhere? Uh, elsewhere, elsewhere in the coast world, mm -hmm. coast world, uh, the pretty town of Burton on the Water hosts hosts the annual football match in the River Windrush every August bank holiday. All right, so this is. Uh a football match in the river, which would be interesting. And Felipe, you are a soccer fan. Do you think this looks fun or crazy? Oh, I think it's not crazy. I think it's very difficult, yeah, because if you want to to run, it's so difficult. And if you want to, I don't know, when you mm, hit the the ball, yeah. Yep. Uh, you need you need your force, yeah. Yeah, and it's so difficult, yeah, because you 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 cannot uh, uh, go up the the leg. I, I don't know, it's correct. Yeah. You can't you can't lift your legs up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's so difficult with the water. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but Javier makes a good point. At least they won't get hot. They'll be nice and cooled down by the water. <laughs> It sounds pleasant uh, <laughs> playing this kind of game in the hot summer. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, last yeah. one. This one's for you, Javier. Have a look at the picture, and then we read that. Okay. Uh, the pe the pe people of Chilon village 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 okay of Chilon village in Cambridgeshire. Prefer to keep their annual cheese rolling competition of the flat. The event takes place every May Day and invokes a wooden cheese being rolled through the streets. Okay. Yes. So actually, yeah. that's not a cheese. It's a piece of wood, right? So this used to be a cheese rolling competition, but now it is a piece of wood, yeah. Yeah, a log, I guess. <laughs> um, all right, guys. So feel free to have a look. There are plenty more, right? You can see the other crazy sports on this website, and some of them are very entertaining, I must say, because I've read them myself. Um, check those out. We're going to have to go. So I'm going to let you guys go. Um, if you'd like to practice your writing skills, then come and join me in the next class. We're going to be writing some stories, so we're going to be having some fun. Other than that... Have a great evening, take care, and I hope to see you again. Thank you for okay, the class. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hope to see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Is to visit our Verbling teacher pages. So if you have a look at the second link in the chat box, you'll see that is my Verbling teacher page. And you can head over to that page if you want to find out more about me or any of the other teachers. Um, take a look at my upcoming classes, see if there's any that you don't want to miss, join them or book a slot. Um, or you can check out my private tutoring schedule as well. So if you would like to take private tutoring with any of the teachers, 
and then go to their Verbling teacher page and do book a slot. You can see their timetable and when they're free. And if you have any questions, um, then you can ask us. So message us using the handy messaging feature. That's also in the Verbling teacher page. So I think that's all of it. We're going to say hi to our students. Um, and Mary, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, teacher. I was busy all day because I was in course. Uh, I have had a course about uh, leading uh, people through change. Oh, that sounds fascinating, Amari. Did you lead the course or did you attend the course? I attended the, the course in my job. Wow, so that was part of your working day. What did you learn? Tell me one thing that you can remember. Uh, I remember a lot of things because I really enjoyed the, that course. Mm -hmm. um, how to to understand others areas into the company. Uh, how can you give your opinion uh, uh, from other people like a manager or leading? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, it was awesome. All right, so you learn all about leadership and stuff. Does that does that apply to your job, Amari? Do you have to, to lead people in your job? Yes, I have one hundred two thousand uh, no one thousand two hundred people in Brazil uh, who I needed to give my opinions uh, to explain uh, different things uh, about the software. Uh, Being so intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, welcome to the class, Javier. Thank you. Who else do we have here? Uh, Yuki, welcome back. Hi. How How's are everything? Mastun to Brambolo, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Why Mastun to Brambolo? How's everything? Good, thank you, Yuki. I'm, I'm, my question of the day is, is what did you do today? Did you have anything exciting happen in your day? Oh, nothing special. Uh, today, and uh, today, today was off for me. So there is no work. I, I didn't do nothing. I, yeah. I did nothing today. <laughs> so you had a holiday. Yes. Oh, that sounds great. Excellent. Yes, yes, I'm glad um, to hear that, Yuki. <laughs> yes, it sounds awesome. Yes. All right. Welcome to the class. And Felipe, how are you? Hi, Amy. I'm fine. And you? Good, thanks. What did you do today, Felipe? Oh, today I was at the university, yeah, in the morning. And after I was in the class. Yeah, because this year I... I started to learn French too. <laughs> wow, you're going for yeah. all of the languages. Yeah, yeah, I need to <laughs> to learn a lot of languages. Yeah. <laughs> for for okay. my for my degree, it's all necessary. Yeah, absolutely. Well, well, good luck with that, Felipe. I'm very impressed. Yeah. More Thank than you. one language at a time is extremely impressive. Almost as impressive as physics. <laughs> <laughs> <Only kidding. laughs> All right. Um, welcome, everybody. Okay, so today's class is going to be a bit of fun. We're actually going to be discussing wacky sports. And when I say wacky sports, what I mean is uh, unusual, strange, weird, crazy, you may say. Um, so I've got several different pages that we're going to use to discuss these crazy things that go on. A logistic or something like that. Mm-hmm. Wow, well that sounds like a really great day. Yes. <laughs> awesome, I'm glad to hear that. Um, Thank you. Alright, let's see if anyone else did anything really exciting today. I'm going to ask Javier, and also say hi to Javier, because I don't think I've met you before. Hello? Javier, are you there? Oh. Hi. Ah, yeah. yay! Yeah, can, can you hear me? Okay, uh, my my microphone is bad. Okay, yeah. No problem. I'm here. I'm here. Good. Excellent. Um, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. Where are you from, Javier? 
Ah, uh, Peru. You're from Peru. Peru. Cool. Yeah, Lima. And which part of Peru? This, the Lima uh, or Lima, Lima. Okay. No, Lima, Lima. Awesome. And tell Lima, me, yeah. why, why are you studying English? Um, because I study, I study science, and it's more important. <laughs> it's more important to do the study because the and the best test of science is in English. Are oh, yeah. in English. Yeah. All right. I understand. Oh well, congratulations, Javier. That's a cool thing to do. Well, um, tell me about your day. Amari has attended a very interesting course. What did you do today? What I did you work or did you go to university? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to the university. All right. Yeah, and I am in the in the uh, in the second year of cool. uh, uh, physics. Physics. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds totally scary to me. Honestly, I I cannot understand physics. So yeah. congratulations on being. Hello everybody, welcome to this verbling class. Hello everybody, welcome to this verbling class. I'm not sure if I got cut off there. Um, my name's Amy and this class is um, a class about British culture basically, or based at least on bit British culture. Um, part of my series called Best of British Culture, which kind of helps you find out a little bit more about my crazy country. Um, and um, there's a lot of stuff out there for the USA and I know that some of you um, are interested in going to the UK or will be spending time there um, so it can be maybe a little bit helpful and also a bit of fun to find out a bit more about some of the things that go on in my country um, but what we do is we use it as a starting point and also share the crazy things that go on in your countries too so today we're actually going to be looking at kind of wacky sports so wacky is a word that means weird or strange or unusual um, and um, I, as I was researching for this class, I discovered that Wales, one of the countries in the UK, Wales is one of the four parts, so there's Wales, England, Scotland, and Northern Ireland, um, has sort of got maybe a leader in these wacky sports. So we're actually going to read about some of the crazy sports that go on in Wales and talk about um, what happens in your countries. Do you know of any crazy sports? If you don't, don't worry, because I have an article that will help us too. If you've booked a slot in the class, do come on in now. If you haven't, there's still some space, so do come along and join us. Um, it will be a mainly a speaking class today with a little bit of reading to get us started. Um, so come and practice your speaking with us as we talk about these crazy sports that go on in the UK. Um, have a look at my Facebook page if you have time. The link is in the chat box for you. It can be a good way to keep in touch with English and keep on track with your learning during the week, especially if you're a Facebook addict. Um, and many of the other teachers also have Facebook pages. So, excuse me, if you're interested in um, connecting up with us, then that's one way to do it. The other way that you can do that on, um, I'm using my own wacky country as the basis for the class because I found a really interesting website, which I'm going to give you now. Check it out. It's called Green Events. And it's basically um, uh, Wales, which is one of the countries in the UK, decided to get some unusual sports going to try and increase tourism. And they've kind of become quite popular and quite famous. So we're going to have a look at a few of those. Then we are going to... Um, just look around the rest of the country for some other wacky sports. And then we're going to talk about your countries. Um, if you don't know any wacky sports, that's okay, because I've got, <laughs> got another helping article. So first things first, take a look at that page. Um, I'm going to do a screen share, because it's easier if we all read along together. We're just going to have a quick look at this one. Um, and then we're going to, if I can do the screen share. Then we're going to read a bit more in depth. So if you have a look at this website, um, you can see there's some people riding bicycles in the snow. There's a lady, possibly a man, hard to say, under the water. All of these pictures are of some of the crazy events that go on. And the typing is really small, so I'm just going to zoom in. And I'll ask Amari, since you were here first, would you like to read for us, please? Of course. Welcome to Green Events. 
And do, uh, sorry, teacher, I, I am hearing my voice in echo. Something oh, that's like that. annoying, isn't it? Okay, and uh, maybe, uh, Javier, I'm just going to mute your microphone, just in case it's a problem. Thank you. Is that any better? And you, yes. And you welcome to a world of wiki. Weird and wonderful outdoor activities that have been developed over the last 30 years in and around, uh, I don't know that word, Wales. Uh, the small, smallest town in Britain nestling in the heart of Midways. So, brace yourself for boggy snorkeling. How about the challenge of man versus horse? And 